Hello and welcome to this Business Solutions Podcast. I'm Jim Roddy, the President of Jameson Publishing and Business Solutions Magazine. Thanks for joining us. As always, we're here to provide actionable information on how VARs can sell more products, penetrate thriving vertical markets, and improve their business operations. Our discussion topic for this podcast is where digital signage fits in the total solution. And our guest today to help give us an inside perspective is Kevin Pruitt. He's the Vice President of Vendor Management and the Head of Digital Signage Division at Ingram Micro. Kevin, thanks for your time today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, and so we're conducting this podcast interview just outside New York City at the uh, Ingram's Solution Summit, where much of the focus is on resellers adding adjacent technology, so becoming a total solutions provider, something you've heard a lot from us at Business Solutions Magazine. So, Kevin, my first question for you is, can you give me your take where you see digital signage fitting in as all these different technologies converge? Yeah, well, it's it's just one piece of a total opportunity today, Jim. It's uh, it very it fits very well within the retail environment. So for customers here that are, are comfortable with and have built practices around point of sale, it's a great entry point. If they look around at some of the installs they're doing, there's going to be either digital signage there or an opportunity for digital signage in the future. Got it. And so I was talking with Mark Rochelle uh, earlier, and we were saying folks are servicing, and he's with Data, data Capture and Point of Sale mm-hmm. for, for Ingram, saying there's something going on eight feet away from them in digital signage, and it ties right in with the Point of Sale network. Is that really a big opportunity? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it is, and um, there, there's a comfort level there as well. If, if that uh, integrator has a relationship and a trust factor built with that end user to be able to bring in another opportunity for them, uh, and tap into the resources that Ingram has available, it, it should be another, I don't want to say easy opportunity, but using the resources that we have in place, we can make it relatively painless for them to jump into. Got it. Uh, so you mentioned about retail. Besides retail, what verticals have the greatest opportunities for VARs who want to offer total solutions that include digital signage? Outside of retail, there's uh, quick serve restaurants are a good opportunity and, and it doesn't have to be the the national chains but even the local local places or, or small chains uh, churches houses of worship are, are good opportunities for a communication uh, from a communication standpoint Com- uh, transportation is another opportunity um, college campuses uh, or even even other school campuses Anywhere where there's a, a need to deliver either advertising and or information delivery, something that needs to be updated and information shared with the group that's around. And the benefit there is that information can be changed at various times throughout the day to reflect the audience that's there. And you and I were talking earlier, a lot of times these places, all that you mentioned, have posters or signage that they put up, and how many times do you walk in and it says, you know, this special going on through whatever date, and you're like, well, that was a month ago, and nobody's yeah. paying attention to it. Yeah, so, again, there's there's an upfront cost, but with the prices that we've seen have really come down and made it an affordable solution today. And uh, I would also tell you that the key is having somebody as a partner that can do a, a site survey and the installation process for you, uh, as well as somebody that can do the content creation. Content is, is going to be very important if... If you're walking around and, and you see PowerPoint slides on a screen, you're less likely to pay attention to it. But somebody that can create dynamic content for you, and Ingram is able to do that, and we've got partners that are able to do that, as well as the installation and site survey, uh, all of a sudden you're going to catch somebody's eye and you're going you're gonna to be delivering something that, that is helping, again, the business or communication as a whole. Got it. And before I jump into my next question, I've heard a lot of verticals over the years. I've never heard about the church vertical as much, and so we always talk about how far up do you go in the decision-making chain. Well, I'm guessing you don't go all the way to the top for the church, and, <laughs> or maybe you do. Maybe you start off with praying. Um, I'm just curious, like, where does digital signage fit in to that? What, like, what successful installs or successful resellers have you seen who have made money uh, from you know houses of worship, churches? Yeah, it, it, again, it's uh, informational purposes. So whereas you know any of us that went to church growing up, and, and even today you'll see people that uh, the, the churches hand out flyers and have all kinds of information in there, and then at the end of the service people leave them laying around or there's a trash can full of it, rather than have the information available to somebody that's standing in the lobby anyway, you're standing around talking, having coffee, whatever the case may be, and there's an opportunity for information there. Got it. Interesting. Uh, so a lot of folks who are listening to this, some have digital signage, but a lot don't. What additional internal resources could a reseller need if they want to make the leap into 
digital signage. You talked about the uh, services Ingram offers, other distributors offer those as well. A lot of vendors do. Is it simply leaning on those suppliers more, or is there something beyond that that a reseller would need to do? I, I think the first thing is the relationships that a reseller is going to have with an end user. And again, uh, I mentioned earlier the, the trust factor. So starting with, with that, I'd say tap into Ingram as an example. And Ingram has an a la carte menu of all the different services that we can provide. Again, from the site serving installation to technical support, business development resources, we've got the vendor management and, and relations there, marketing services, you name it, and then all the way up to the content creation and management. So what what I've encouraged people to do over time is, you know, walk in and, and look at the menu and, and order the whole menu to start. And then over time, you can pick and choose what you want to specialize in or what you have the capability to specialize in. And those are the resources that you build yourself. But the good news, I would say, uh, being Ingram Micro, we don't sell the end users. So we've got business development resources that can also go to the end user location and help to sell that solution as well. Got it. And so you mentioned end users at the beginning and the end of your answer. And before we hit the record button, we were talking about end users as well. And so is it really starting there that the reseller needs to get in touch with their end users and say, you know, what kind of things do they need? Or really just look around their location and say, boy, digital signage could help there. Is it really start there in terms of doing, say, a site survey, but really digging into what, what the needs of the end users are? Yeah, I would say even take a step back there. And uh, what again, what I've encouraged people to do is in, install a solution in your own office to start with. Even if it's a single screen lobby solution, something to get the ball rolling and get you a better feel of you know, taking a step back and saying, what is my business looking for? And then taking that to the other businesses that you work with, the other end user locations. And, and that's where it starts. I, I would say you always want to start with a site survey. And, and we've been able to help customers that thought they needed 100 screens in their location that really only needed 30 to do it effectively. And the cost savings there is money that you can, you can keep or money that you can reinvest in good content uh, to update the system over time. There's all kinds of opportunities there, but the reality is go in with the right solution. Understand what the solution is. Understand what the objective of that re end user is and go from there. Got it. A couple more questions for you, Kevin. One is we hear a lot about managed services and SaaS. How is that impacting digital signage in the channel? It, it's, uh, it's one of the opportunities from a content standpoint, uh, uh, content creation and content delivery. Uh, we've got a couple different options and a couple different manufacturers we work with. Um, I would say it's it's uh, still a developing area. If you go to a Digital Signage Expo, for example, every year in February or March in Vegas, there's 350 software companies out there. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of companies that are just doing their own. So it's, it's important to, again, I, I guess I say lean back on Ingram in that respect and understand fully what that end user is looking for and we can then work with both the hardware and the software manufacturers and determine what is the best opportunity, what is the right software solution, and SaaS might very well be the best way to go there. Got it, but it depends on the end user and it depends on the reseller. Is that really what right. it comes down right. to? Right. You know, do you want do you want local content or, or do you want a SaaS solution? So realistically, I, th I think I, I wouldn't say, you know, it, it should always go this way or always go that way in a specific end user. It's gonna it's gonna vary depending on what's the solution look like and what's the real objective of that end user. Got it. Last question for you. Uh, what one or two actions would you recommend a reseller take over the next six months in relation to digital signage that would improve their business the most? Oh, boy, I would say look around and understand where the opportunities are. And the second would be to uh, reach out to somebody at Ingram and get involved in one of our solution events. Uh, we offer boot camps and, and also trainings at the various Ingram Micro events like we're here today with the Data Capture Point of Sale group. And we offer signage specific boot camps and that's an opportunity to come out and interact with the experts at Ingram, to interact with the manufacturers that are there and learn more about their solutions, and then also to interact with fellow uh, integrators and hear about where they started and what, what lessons they've learned and where they've been successful. And what we've really seen out of those events is, is integrators leveraging each other. And that's been a big benefit. Yeah, that is great to see that folks aren't competitors, but they're actually being cooperative and they can help boost each other's businesses. Great.
Well, that's all the time we have for today. Hopefully our discussion has given you some good insight into digital signage and total solutions and what it's going to look like uh, heading forward. Before we go, I want to say thanks again to Kevin Bruett uh, from Ingram for joining us today. Kevin, thanks very much. Yeah, thanks, Jim. Yeah, very pre nice. Appreciate your time and expertise. And thanks to you so much for listening. Our goal at Business Solutions is to provide growth strategies for the IT channel. For more information, please visit our website at www.bsminfo.com. Thanks again for listening, everybody. 